Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be why, when you talk to your ex-girlfriend after not talking for a while, why she starts asking you if you're dating anybody. Got an email here from a viewer. He says, hey, Coach, I've been going through a breakup for the past two months, and initially I did all the things that the typical guy would do. I begged, I pleaded, and in general tried changing her mind. I did all of this for about a month, and I found your book online, and I started reading it. I read it through four times total so far. Well, great. You only got about another eight or nine times to go. The idea is 10 to 15 times until you get to know this stuff so well you don't have to think about it anymore. He says, for the first month, I could feel that she was slowly pulling herself away, and the more that she did that, the harder I ended up chasing. I said in my article, chasing women or pursuing women causes rejection. Chasing women causes rejection. This is why. He said, needless to say, I got tired. I got tired of trying and putting effort into someone that didn't want me. For the past month, I stopped all contact. No texting, no calling, email, nothing. This past week, I had a bad dream involving her, and I simply got worried. And the other thing to keep in mind, it's been a month and your girl hasn't reached out to you. He says, and that's indicative of the fact that she really doesn't miss you that much and enough to want to reach out and talk to you. And plus the fact that you begged and you pleaded with her, and obviously she just all that communicated to her at the time was that she made the right decision by dumping you. He says, I texted her and let her know, hey, I had a bad dream and I just wanted to know that you were okay. And all that tells me is that you basically were looking for an excuse to reach out and call her because it's been a month and you found one. He says, I know I shouldn't have broke and contacted her, but I was legitimately worried. I'm sure you were. He says, fast forward to later on the day and she sends me this text. Hey, yeah, I'm okay, but I'm pretty sick and I thought of you and would really like to be cuddled and taken care of. Sorry. He says, I didn't respond to that text. Well, I, when a girl says that, remember, she brought up basically getting together. That's in essence what she's doing. She's, and I would have said, oh, I'd love to see you. When are you free to get together? Question mark. And send that. See what she says. Plan something definite. Plan a date. You want to go over there and watch all the snot running down her face anyways if she's really sick. You want to do something, go have some fun with her. But that was an opportunity to plan a date because you went ahead and reached out to her. And see, the thing is, is that sometimes it's two to three months. Sometimes you don't hear from her at all. But the fact of the matter is, is that a month's gone by and she was thinking about you. Obviously, that's what happens. Both people are thinking about each other. But when a girl constantly tells you no, 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 and then you're begging, you're pleading, and she still tells you no, and then you call her a month later and... He didn't bring up anything, and then, but she actually brought it up. And so, when those things, when you're in that situation, when a girl brings up something like that, see if she really means it. Try to make definite plans with her. He says she goes on to call me up later on that evening and ask me how I've been. She found out I had been laid off since we used to work together, so it was just general chit chat. And out of left field, she asked me, "So, are you dating anyone?" And I just said, "Huh." And she asked again, have you been going on any dates? And I just said, I'm not going to get into all of that. And then she told me that she went on a date the night before because she wanted a free meal. Listen to this. And that she didn't like the guy. She just wanted to get out of the house. How many fucking times have I said that in videos that there are women that will go out with you when you've got no shot with them? Why? Because it's better than staying home doing nothing. And so she's like, oh, I want to go out to dinner. I was like, hey, let me go out to dinner because the guy's willing to take me out. And you just get an another girl confirms it. And he says, she said that he was boring and that he couldn't keep up with her. And, he said, and then the guy that wrote the email says, I just said, oh, that's too bad. I'm sorry you didn't have a good time. So this is when I said, well, now that you mentioned, I have been on about four dates and I actually went on one last night too. The girl was kind of boring at dinner, so I just I, so I decided just to take her to the movie so I didn't have to talk to her. My ex started laughing, and I told her that I needed to go. I would have asked, again, she's calling you. She's reaching out to you now. Make a date, but she didn't do that. He says, my question is, why would she out of nowhere ask me if I'm dating someone? Because several a month has gone by, and she hasn't heard from you at all. 
And more than likely, if several weeks had gone by, then she's going to start to think about you. And if you'd been applying what I, would, I teach and been meeting other women, some of it will probably get back to her that you're dating other women. And then she's going to start to think because what this is what happens. She runs into the 97% of the guys out there that don't get it. So she goes on a date with a guy and she has a boring time with him. And so that's typically what happens when a girl blows you off and says, no, I want to break up. And then you just turn around and walk away and never look back. She starts going out with guys like this and having bad experiences. And after a month, sometimes two months, sometimes three months, you just never know. They start to think, you know, maybe that guy, wasn't he wasn't so bad after all because they've gone on enough dates with enough dudes to realize that it's not so easy to find somebody that you really connect with. It doesn't happen every day. I mean, I, we all wish it would, but that's just simply the way life is. It doesn't happen every day. The only thing you can really do is to get prepared for it so when it does happen, you are prepared and you know what to do and you know what to say and you're able to maintain your self-control emotionally so you don't just have a fucking freak out and ruin attraction and, and get a, end up getting rejected. <clears throat> so... He says, he says, my question is, why would she out of nowhere ask me if I am dating someone, especially after she had been so cold and distant towards me the whole time I was chasing her? Well, because she knew she had you anytime she wanted you, and so therefore, there was nothing exciting about that. She knew she could basically pick up the phone, and you would haul ass to be over at her place, because you were begging her at that time. And now, you just stopped and you walked away, and so she starts to wonder... Did he, did he hook up with somebody else? Because in her mind, the reason she's asking is she's wondering, is it too late for me to get you back? Is it too late for me to have you back? Because she assumed that you probably were going to keep chasing her, and then when you just completely stopped and you walked away, that confused her a little bit. And the more she interacts with other guys that don't get it, the more she starts to think about you, and that's what eventually causes a woman to reach out to you. But I would, I would say in this particular case, you reached... I mean, yeah, she was re receptive and responsive because it had been a month. And so, I mean, you see yourself that this stuff is actually working. But the point being is that you just didn't wait long enough for her to reach out to you because more than likely she would have just reached out to just say, hey, I want to call and see how you were. I haven't talked to you in a while, see what you're up to. And you just assume that, I mean, let's, I mean, but at the end of the day, the bottom line is, is that the way this girl has responded, it communicates to me that she's been thinking about you. And so that communicates that she's not completely in her mind ready to mentally just erase you and, and be totally cool with never talking to you again. But the one thing that you did do that sets you back a little bit is that you reached out to her. And so in her mind, even though she, you can go a month without talking, she'll, you'll probably call her because you begged and you pleaded. That's, that's the only one thing I would say is that's why I say you walk away and you never look back. Well, you walked away and then a month later you looked back basically – and so her interest was going back up, but you I can see here you've had two different opportunities to make a date. The first one was when she brought up cuddling. The second one was when she called you that afternoon just to chit-chat. And when she called you that afternoon to chit-chat, you should have used it as an opportunity to arrange the next date. So next time she reaches out to you, don't just fucking ignore the girl. That's, that's not what I teach to do. I teach you to create an opportunity for sex to happen. Set something up definite. Set some definite plans, get out the phone. That's all you got to do, dude. You go out with her once, hang out, create a fun-filled romantic opportunity for sex tab, and you end up hooking up. You have great makeup sex. Usually the next day or day or two after that, she'll start texting you and say, Ooh, we had a really great time. It was like it was like our first time all over again. You're like, yeah, me too. It was pretty awesome. I'd love to see you again. When are you free next? Send that. Let her respond. Make the next date. Great. I, love, I look forward to it. I'll see you then and get off the phone. That's all you got to do. Don't complicate things. So if you have a question you want to ask me, go to my website, click the Contact Me tab, which will be on the left-hand side of your screen, and send me one to two paragraphs max, and just give me several days to get back to you with a response. If you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session. You can do that by going to my website, click the Products tab, which will be at the top of your screen, and just follow the instructions. If you want a digital version of my Kindle ebook, on my website underneath the email sign up box is a box that has a link that will take you right to the Amazon Kindle download page. Once you get there, if you don't have a Kindle device, just download one of their free e reader apps for your smartphone, tablet device, or your computer. And if you appreciate the value of the information I offer in these video newsletters, the articles on my website, and my ebook, you can show your appreciation by going to my website right now 
And on the Wibby toolbar at the bottom of your screen, click the PayPal donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information. And I will talk to you soon.